Welcome back. Basketball starts up in just a few weeks, and for many teams, it never really ended. We'll delve into that in the next couple of weeks, but tonight we have some sneak peeks into the upcoming season. Week two of scrimmage is underway, and we'll start off with Shawnee taking on Harvest Prep. Some preseason basketball action for you, and Shawnee looking strong on rebounding. Tyson Elwer putting in his own miss in this one. Then some familiar names coming up. How about George Mangus driving in for the nice floater as he looks to repeat his great season last year. Mangus again with a layup on a drive to the hoop. And then some great passing, something Shawnee did very well. Mangus getting another one. Then after some more great passing, able to put that one in. Shawnee looking good. Then after a missed foul shot, Mangus getting up underneath for the board and putting that one in. And just, just a nice night to be out playing basketball. Elwell scoring down the lane and Shawnee getting after it with Harvest Prep as we take you to St. Mary's and Crestview. The Knights taking the court at Etzler Gymnasium and Kalen Etzler handing off to J.J. Ward and Ward buries the triple for the Knights. Now Etzler coming in with the huge put back slam, the future Buckeye getting it going here. Riders looking to answer back. Brandon Bauer is working inside and he puts the shot in for two. Now Braden Himmelgarn getting the steal and lays this one in easily. Etzler now getting the pass inside and the dunk extending the Knights lead. Now Etzler on the break finds an open ward and he's going to lay this one in with no problems. And Latre Williams answering back with a turnaround shot up top of the key for two. Good basketball action between St. Mary's and Crestview tonight. Then moving on to Wapak and Jackson Center over at the Habitat of the Cat. And Jace Mullenauer knocking down the triple. Well, some of these guys look like they're in midseason form. Then it's Trevor Sosby. He hits the three. Now Wapak will answer. Noah Ambos is going to drive in from the left side and lays it up and in with the opposite hand. Now back to Jackson Center. Aiden Reichert working it, scoring down low. Then Wapak's Garrett Seifring. You'll see him scoring down low. Nice pass in there. And Ambos going to get the open three and knocks that one down. Another nice matchup between Wapak and Jackson Center. Lastly, let's show you some girls scrimmage basketball action to the bathtub. Bath taking on West Liberty Salem. In a scrimmage, Chandler Clark inbounding it. And after some nice passing, Abby Dakin up in underneath, open for the easy layup. Then Clark off the inbounds, pass, three, got it. Now Clark again, we'll see her running the floor. Gonna drive in, gets the shot. Then another three ball here as Bath started out slow and then showed some improvement the rest of the night. So this is a sample of some basketball action for you coming up that we hope to have for you here on the Sports Report.